In this video, I'm gonna show you four AI tools to help you do all of your post-production editing for your podcast using four AI tools. Now, the first thing before we get into that, I'm gonna show you the mic that I use. I use the Rode Wireless Pro 2. Now, this mic is a fantastic mic. It comes with a charging case, so whenever your mics are dying, you can just take this mobile case, plug it in there, and start charging your mics. It charges super fast, has two mics and a receiver. Now, not only does do the two mics connect to the receiver so you can do live audio using whatever camera or whatever system you're using, but also it records directly to the device. So you can hit this button, see that little red dot there, and know that it's recording a backup audio file directly to your microphone. Now you can you can plug a lavalier mic into the top here or use the onboard mic. The set comes with two lavalier mics and also these mic heads that you can just attach to the top of the mic and use it just directly if you'd like to, just like this, or you can use the lavalier like I'm doing right now. This set is $360 on Amazon. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to try them out. They sound phenomenal and they're incredibly handy just by how mobile they are and how small and convenient they are. Now let's get into the AI tools. The first tool that I use is called Autopod and it does exactly what it sounds like it does. It auto edits your podcast for you. It's an extension in Premiere Pro. First thing you do is grab your clips that you're using and the podcast that I do every single week, every Thursday, it's called Another Podcast. So on this channel, if you'd like to check it out, check it out. But it's Autopod in Premiere Pro. Import the clips that you want to use. Make sure each clip has their own individual audio file. Synchronize those clips and make sure they have the same starting and end point. Go up to Window and click Multicam Editor. Once you do that, you assign the names to the speakers in your podcast along with the audio file that goes along with their visual. Once that's been set, you simply click a button and watch in amazement as Autopod edits your podcast for you. What it does is it analyzes the audio and picks the best visual for the viewer. So if somebody's talking, it'll spend more time focusing on them. But as you can see, it's going through an hour and a half podcast and editing it for me in under five minutes. This normally took me four hours to do what Autopod is doing for me. It saves me so much time in post-production so I can focus more on fine-tuning the entire product rather than just cutting back and forth between the speakers and the podcast. Now, after you've edited your podcast using Autopod, the next important thing for your podcast is making sure your audio is crisp, clean, and nice to listen to. And I use a tool called eMaster that does all the post-production audio editing for me. Again, saving me so much freaking time time. eMaster.com is an AI tool that masters your audio quality for you. It was founded by Grammy winners all around the world. But if you're a podcast creator and a music creator, you can use it for all kinds of audio. Now, I'm not an audio engineer, so this saves me so much time messing with audio, trying to make it sound the best it can, when now all I have to do is simply go to eMaster.com, hit new master, title the audio file however I'd like, Go to genre, pick word, pick the audio file, and hit continue and watch it as it uploads. Once it's done uploading, it'll start analyzing my audio file and enhancing the audio quality for me. To give you an example of the quality of eMaster's mastering, this is what it sounds like whenever I didn't use eMaster. And this is what it sounds like when I have used eMaster. I use it for basically all my YouTube videos so I can up the content quality of my content without any extra time. Now once your audio is mastered to your liking, the next tool you'll want to use is Opus Clip. Now Opus Clip takes your long form content and turns it into shorts or TikTok videos or Instagram reels. It even gives you a viral rating so it shows you which clip from your long form content will be most likely to go viral. Not only does it give you several clips to pick from, but you can hit the edit clip, select a new starting time, a new ending time, you can change the caption styles, and even add B-roll if you'd like to get make your videos more engaging. Once you're happy with the short that Opus has created for you, you can click on auto post and scheduler and schedule the same short across 
all your social media platforms, making it super streamlined to share your content everywhere. It's incredibly useful and again, saves you so much time. Thank you, robots. I use Opus every single week to turn my long form content into shorts and to help spread the word of my podcast that I post every single Thursday on this channel. If you're interested, check it out, please. But if you're interested in Opus Clip, there is a link in the description below to an affiliate link that helps again support this channel. If you decide to use that link, thank you so much. Last but not least, you got a title and put a description for your videos. And if it's a podcast, you're going to want it to be chaptered as well. Well, Taja.ai does all that for you, literally making all your post production streamlined by robots. It's amazing. What a time we live in. Similar to Opus Clip, to use Taja.ai, all you have to do is copy and paste the YouTube link of the video that you want it to make a description for and title for. And like I said, if it's a podcast, it'll even chapter your video for you. Copy and paste whatever video you'd like to use. It'll give you several different title options for you to title your video the way you want. It'll write a very descriptive description for you, but you will need to make sure that everything within the description is something that you actually want to be in there. It does a great job of giving you a starting point, but you will want to fine tune it to your liking. Now I've been using this for my podcast episodes and it does, and it's been chaptering things for me. Now that was a lengthy process that I used to have to do. And in fact, sometimes I was too lazy to do it, but now I do it every single time because robots do it for me. And it saves me so much time and it makes me look more professional even though I'm doing a lot less work. Now once Taja.ai gives you all these options, if you don't like what you see, you can just simply hit Reoptimize, reoptimize description, reoptimize your tags. You can even generate thumbnail visuals and it'll get the ideas for your thumbnail based off the transcript from your videos. Now, it's not the best right now, but the potential of this is incredibly exciting. For example, here are some of the thumbnail ideas it gave me for my video, and none of them really fit the style of the, the podcast. So I didn't go with them, but I think this will probably get better over time, and I'm really excited whenever I no longer have to personally make the thumbnails for my videos. Once you like everything you see on Taja.ai, you simply hit sync to YouTube and it posts all of it onto your video for you. So with these four AI tools, you can use them to do the entirety of all your post-production work on your podcast episode, from the actual editing of the podcast, to the audio mastering, to the titling and describing of your video, and turning your long-form content into short-form content. Oh my goodness, thank you, robots. This used to take me two days, maybe, to do edit and do all the post-production work for a podcast episode. Now it takes me about three hours. And my content is better because I can focus more on the fine-tuning of the process rather than the tediousness of the process. Links to all these tools are in the description below. If you decide to try out these products and you use my link, thank you so much. You're helping support this channel and proving to my wife that I'm not just wasting my time making YouTube videos. She believes me, I just, you know, I need to put some money in the bank. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and liking this video and maybe checking out our podcast that comes out every single Thursday on this YouTube channel called Another Podcast. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.